Condoleezza Rice is a CBS News contributor. Good morning. Good morning. So the question is, can you believe the Iranians? So therefore, the question is, how do you test them? Well, you certainly can't believe the Iranians or trust them uh, because they have done everything to, uh, to make certain that you can't trust them. They hid their nuclear program for decades. They uh, have given the uh, International Atomic Energy Agency the runaround. They ha I negotiated myself with the uh, P5 plus one, the uh, negotiating, uh, international negotiating team for them. Absolutely cannot trust them. You can test them. You can say, are you willing to give up your nuclear capability fully and completely, verifiably, and see if they'll take the deal. Mm -hmm. But let's remember that the reasons the Iranians are here now is that that economy is suffering desperately under the weight of sanctions. Mm -hmm. They want relief from the sanctions. Uh, my concern is they're going to want relief from the sanctions before they do anything to deserve it. But if you read Netanyahu's remarks yesterday to the UN, I mean, he mentioned Rouhani many times, didn't even talk about the Palestinian conflict. Does it suggest that Israel is concerned about a thawing of relations between the U.S. and Iran? It suggests to me, Nora, that uh, the Israeli Prime Minister is duly concerned about a rush to a deal with Iran that might not ultimately deal with Iran's nuclear program and that he's uh, setting a warning out there uh, that that shouldn't be done. And then let me ask you this, very interesting, we just learned that the Iranian President Rouhani told reporters in Tehran that the U.S. had contacted him five times about setting up a meeting with President Obama and he told reporters, but I rejected that. Why would he say that? Well, I suspect he's trying very hard uh, at home not to appear that he has gone soft. After all, that's a pretty tough regime that he's a part of. Why would Obama and the White House request five times well, to meet Well, I him? have to say uh, that that's the sort of thing that the Iranian president probably shouldn't expose if indeed it's true. Yeah, and but, uh, we should ask the White House whether yeah, indeed but, that's true. But do you true. think the yeah. people at that level, you've been at that level, yeah. really worry about whether somebody says we've tried five times? Well, yes, because it can make the American president look desperate. You don't want the American president to be the demandeur here. The Iranians are the demandeur. They're the ones that are under sanctions. They're the ones that need sanctions relief. And I would hope uh, that somebody in the White House, through whatever uh, channels we can, is saying this is no way to get off to a good start with the United States. We hear you loud and clear on trust but verify. Uh, in the end, though, do you believe the Iranians, because of the pressure of sanctions, possibly have changed, that that could be a change that could lead to serious negotiations to dismantle? I do not think this regime has changed its ambitions. I do think that this regime realizes that those ambitions are perhaps causing uh, the kind of turmoil at home uh, that they cannot tolerate. So by all means test it. But remember that you cannot leave the Iranians with nuclear capability, leave them with an option for a nuclear weapon later on because you leave them with the ability to reprocess uh, and enrich their uranium. I want to turn down.